What's going on everyone? At home body weight and dumbbell only workout. You can use whatever dumbbells you have access to. I've got 10s, you can use 5, 10s, 12s, 15s, 20s. Let's just jump right into it. We're gonna start for the first one. It's just gonna be a pike push up. Amazing for the shoulders, the triceps, the chest. It's gonna be 15 reps, okay? So get into the downward dog position. Bring your head all the way down towards the ground. Two. Put a lot of stress on those shoulders. Three. Six, I may have done an extra one, but seven, eight, when in doubt, nine, do an extra one, one more, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. These are too easy for you, you can always slow them down, whatever works, okay? So this is gonna destroy all parts of the shoulders. Next up, a Z press, really cool, because it takes all the legs out of the exercise. It's gonna be a cluster set, okay? So we've got my 10s here, my almighty 10s. Keeping that core tight, just doing regular shoulder press. Two, three, four, five, six. We're going right to 20. Seven, eight, good. Nine, core nice and tight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Three more, come on. Two, and good. Beautiful. So cluster set's gonna be one really high rep. Uh, exercise or set. So we did 20 reps. Give me about 10 to 15 seconds and then we'll move into three sets of 10, okay? Shoulders are already fired up. Oh, got that pump going just from those pike push ups. One, come on, let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and good. Keeping that core nice and tight, okay? You don't want to be leaning forward, you don't want to do them sloppy. Oh, this workout's gonna be no joke, guys. Once again, we gotta make sure we're hitting the anterior, the lateral, and the posterior part of the shoulders. Okay, second last set. One, two, three, four, five, come on, six, four more. Three, two, and good. And then we just got one more of these. Turn myself around here. Just give you guys a bit of a different angle. Grab a sip of water if you need. This isn't gonna be too much rest, okay? We're gonna jump right into it, keep those shoulders pumped. One, two, three, four, five, six, come on, seven, three more, two, and, oh man, okay. Grab a nice little rest here. Next up, we're gonna be doing, oh, once you catch your breath, you're gonna be doing front and lateral oh, arm raises, okay? So this will get, obviously, the lateral head and the front head, okay? These are pretty beastly. Shake your arms out, do whatever you need. Woo! Purpose is not be, to be taking minute rests here, okay? So pretty much out to the side, forward, down, forward, side, down. That counts as one rep, okay? Follow along. Boom. Two. Three. Come on. Let's go. You guys will be struggling if you're using 20s for this exercise, okay? It's not meant to be easy. Five, come on, we just got three more of these. Six, two more. Core nice and tight. Throw all these exercises. And then one more, then we get a nice break, come on. Last one, and good, okay? Grab a nice little break, just gotta figure out what we got next, oh, catch your breath. It's a good time to drink some water, okay? Next up, we're gonna be doing 12 to 15 of these. You're gonna be rear delts. A lot of people neglect the rear delts. So how it works is you just push your hips back into a nice little hip hinge, okay? And the goal is to not only get the arms out to the side, but bring them forward a little bit as well. You don't wanna be going back like this for the rear delt, okay? Come on, follow along. Two, three, Come on, four, good. Nice squeeze of the top, five, six, seven. Keep going, let's go guys, come on. Eight, nine, 10. Let's go, we got five more. Feel free to rest when you need. Jump right back into it. 12, come on. 13, 14, 15, good. You guys should be nice and pumped by this point. Okay, next up, it's gonna be um, 
upright rows, okay, we love using them with cables, but obviously we only have dumbbells, but it's nice and light so it won't mess up your shoulders. We're gonna be doing 15 of these. Point is to target the traps and just the overall shoulders nicely with this exercise, okay? So we got bring the elbows up nice and high. You don't want it to be too high, but just to about nipple area, okay? One, two, three, four. Get a nice squeeze to the top. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whew, shoulders are burning, baby. Come on, keep going. 10, 11, 12, 13, whew, two more. 14 and 15, good. You guys will feel it nicely in the traps, okay? Obviously you can do shrugs, but we don't have access to heavy dumbbells, so the upright rows are perfect. Whew. Next up, and the reason I like doing these exercises on the floor, especially, is because it takes the legs out of the movement, okay? So usually I would do Arnold presses either standing or on a bench, but there's no legs here, okay? So this is good. You're gonna target all parts of the shoulders. Get a nice rotary motion in. One, two, Three, four, five, six. We're going 15 for all these. Seven, eight, nine. Keeping that core nice and tight. 10, Whew. come on. 11, 12, 13, 14, and beautiful. Good. Oh. I would grab some water if I had some, if I was more prepared. But this is a great time to take a break because the next couple exercises, the next two, they're final. They're gonna be absolutely killer, okay? So the rear delts, sorry, the lateral head, amazing area to just really bring up your width. And a lot of people neglect it. They only hit the anterior head with all their bench press, okay? So I'm talking too much because I wanna take more break. But let's jump right into it. These are gonna be 21s, okay? Force portion, just bringing the arms to the side. Just the first part of the lateral raise, okay? Four, five, six, Seven, good, okay, so we've got the first portion out. Now we're gonna start from the top and bring it down slightly. One, two, three, these will burn. Four, five, six, and seven. Whoa, okay, so obviously 21s is first portion, the bottom, next portion of the top, and then full reps, okay? Seven reps. One, two, three, four, five, Six and seven. Whew. Oh, lateral head's fatigued, okay? The last movement is going to be lateral raise holds, okay? So obviously, we're dead right now. I may even toss in a little bonus for you guys at the end, depending on how we're looking for time. Eight but minutes. Eight minutes, okay. Let's finish her up. Let's finish her up. We'll make her 10 minutes here. Whew. Whew. So this is gonna be for time, just whatever you can do, okay? Just hold it. Whew. Keeping that core tight. Keeping the glutes nice and engaged. Your lateral head, as I said, anterior head, everything's gonna be done, okay? And pause. Okay, we're going right back to it. We're not stopping, we're gonna go back into it, okay? Take five to 10 seconds, shake it all out, move your arms around, flex your triceps for the camera. Let's go, come on. Okay. And we just got one last one of these and then we're gonna finish with some rear delts. Obviously, rear delts are so important and that's why I wanted to stress it a little bit more here. That's all I got for the lateral raises. Obviously, if you wanna hold it a little bit longer, that's okay. But this should be challenging. And now we're just gonna finish up. Just get a bit more rear delts. We're gonna be doing 15 of these and then we're done. Come on, three, four, let's go. Five, six, seven, eight. Come on, finish strong, let's go. Nine, we're almost there guys. 10, don't let form get sloppy. 11, 12, 13, 14, and oh my gosh. And that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't be an idiot like me and do a bunch of shoulder stuff right before. But either way, smash that like button. We have three other videos up right now for our at home body weight series. If you're a beast, take about a minute or two rest, try it again, and if you want, try it again as well. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.